Hey guys, if you were looking for a very simple and easy broadcasting system for your Twitch streaming, whether you are a brand new streamer or if you just don't want to have to worry about all the bells and whistles of stuff like OBS and Streamlabs OBS, then by all means, check out this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up your stream from the very start all the way until you hit that go stream button. So this is for Twitch Studio. Very, very simple, very, very minimal looking stream and broadcasting software. So let's go ahead and start with the video. Real quick before we begin, I'm Geosphere. I'm a content creator on both Twitch and YouTube. And if you're looking for stream tips, tricks and tutorials, then you've come to the right place. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to twitch.tv slash broadcast slash studio. It's going to take you to this web page right here. Now, just a reminder, Twitch Studio is in beta, so there may be a little bit of bugs here and there, but it says going live just got a whole lot easier. Now you can click the download now, or you can kind of scroll down the screen. It'll show you what it has. It's a very simplified setup for your microphone, your webcam, your camera, and just everything in general. Customizable templates. It's integrated with Twitch, and it also has its own little follower, little alert box. So then you're just going to come down here, click download now. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to log in with your Twitch. Now, of course, I already have. So once you log in with your Twitch, it's going to say welcome to Twitch Studio before your Twitch. Your first stream will help you set up your microphone, webcam, layouts and settings. Now, you don't really want to skip the setup. So let's just go ahead and get started. Now, you're going to change your microphone. As you see, I have mine set as a focus right USB. I am going to just kind of pick just a random microphone here. I don't want it to actually come through the Twitch studio on mine, but you're going to change it to whatever your microphone is, whether it is your webcam microphone, whether it's an actual microphone or just your headset microphone. So once you do that, you're going to continue to the webcam. Now, chances are you're going to actually have to click on this button up here. I have a Logitech Brio. So as you see, you can see me. So continue to the layouts. Now this is a stream layout. Now this is your primary layout for your gameplay. Be right back and for the chatting just go to customize layouts now you can change the wallpapers you can change the patterns all that stuff so i'm just going to keep it how it is right now i do like the pattern right there little checkerboard type thing i'm going to hit done continue to the settings now this is where you are going to have to kind of decide on if your computer is a very good computer or if it's just kind of lacking in some departments so most people are able to get away with the 720p 60, but sometimes you'll have to change it to the 720p 30. Say you're playing like a retro Final Fantasy game on like a Super Nintendo or something like that with a capture card, then this would be absolutely fine having 720p 30. Resolution can be uh, 1280 by 720. Now you can change the FPS to 60 or 30. 60 is usually fine. But like I said, if your stream does start to lag and you start dropping frames, change it to 30. Bitrate is okay at 4,500. Now, if you do have a very good internet, like 15 plus megabits per second upload, you should be okay bumping it up to five to 6,000. 6,000 is pretty much the max for any Twitch streamer in general. Now you have the encoder. Now I'm not sure if Nvidia has its own encoder for Twitch Studio. I actually use the AMD stuff. You can also set up a stream delay. Now, if this is your first stream or just first streams in general, I don't suggest having a stream delay because you want to have as much interaction with the people that actually come into your stream as possible. So one really cool thing that Twitch Studio does have over something like OBS and Streamlabs OBS is the stream test summary. As you see, it's showing all of the memory and CPU and all that for me says encoder FPS 53 FPS. So I'm just going to, you would hit done. I'm just going to hit cancel though. Continue to the app. Now it's going to take a second to load everything up. And here we go. This is basically everything you need to know. So now we're going to double click on the main. As you see on the left side, there's alerts, webcam, game capture, wallpaper, and background color. Now we're going to go to the alerts first. You can actually change whatever alerts you have for the follow host raids subscription and cheers now i'm not going to test it right here actually I, screw it we'll test it so 
what you're going to do the alert types follow you can change the actual image you could actually have a gif if you want to now these are all just regular images so you would actually have to browse your own computer to find one so we're just going to change this to kappa i'm actually going to change the volume all the way down here there's actually a few alert sounds but like I said before, you can browse your own computer to get different alerts. So there we go. We're going to test this out. It's going to show it right here. Flavioli Ravioli new follower. And you would just have to go through the host raid subscription and cheer to change all of these. Honestly, very, very simple. I like how simplified it is. As you see, it's just top left of the screen. Super simple. So then after we set up the alerts, it's all good to go. Now we go to the webcam, we click on that, and it's going to, most of the time, it's not going to show the right source. So you're going to come to the device change, and I'm going to be setting my Logitech Brio. There we go. Now you can do it to where it deactivate this device when not visible. If you don't want it on all the time, not a bad thing to click on. You can change the border. If you want a border, you don't even have to have a border. If you don't want, see, you don't even have to have one. I really like this function though. Now you can have a rounding of it. Do it kind of something like that. That's a really cool function that uh, like Streamlabs OBS and OBS don't really offer very easily. So that's one cool thing about Twitch Studio. Now you have the color filter. You can just change colors of it. You can make it black and white, all that type of stuff. But now we have the alerts. We have the webcam. Now we need the game capture. So click on the game capture, cloned properties, Right over here, it's going to show this black screen, full screen application, change. And then you're just going to click whatever page you want. You can either pick it on Chrome. You could pick it on whatever game you're playing. I'm going to pick it on Hades. I'm going to not capture the cursor. You can capture similar windows to it. Compatibility cursor. Combat compatibility mode may allow you to capture an app that normally doesn't work. Sometimes on OBS, this happens. So this is a really cool function. I'm going to click capture ca uh, cursor off, hit done. Now it's not going to show anything until I actually go into the game. I don't know why this happens, but it happens with a lot of games. So go into the game and just tab out of it. And there we go. Now we have the alerts, the webcam and the game capture. You would technically be ready to go, but we're going to go a step further. We're going to come back here. We have the be right back and the chatting. So once we go to be right back, as you see on the left side, it doesn't have any alerts. So if you get a follow, you're not even going to know about it because there's not going to be an alert. So we can actually probably delete this dot color. We don't need that. You can change the AFK text. I actually like the AFK text. We're going to change the color of it though. We're going to change it to something like red, make it, you know, pop out You change the pattern and the pattern color. Now we have the layers. So click on the plus button and we're going to add Twitch alerts. There we go. And then you're going to have to actually go through and make an alert sound for each one of these. So just kind of browse sounds. There we go. Alert four. Boom. Now it's on the top. And then after what we're going to do is go to the plus button again and then chat box. And we're just going to add that. It's going to add it to the screen. It's a little bit hard to see, but we're going to make that a little small. So that when somebody chats, it's going to actually show it on your be right back screen. Now there's actually a chat behavior, chat appearance. You can change the theme. There's light and dark themes for it. Add test message. There we go. That's pretty cool. Actually, that's really actually pretty cool. You can add a border around it if you want one. Let's add a purple border. There we go. Now we can edit the border. We can make it bigger. We can make it smaller. So there we go. And now we have the be right back screen with the be right back text we also have the chat box and that's all we really need because we have the twitch alerts so if you are be right back from a game then that's all you really have to do now we have the just chatting which is basically just the alerts and your webcam now for some reason the webcam doesn't go through again just change it to whatever webcam you're using as you see now i'm right here so this is very very simple guys after we do all this we are all good to go as far as actually starting the stream but we're going to go one step further so there we go 
We're going to go one step further. We're going to hit the audio mixer and go to the primary microphone. So once you do that, it's going to show the volume. Now, like I said before, it's not going to come through because I'm not using the actual microphone that I'm supposed to be using, but you want it to hit the just right. You don't want it to go into the too high because it's going to clip. And it's just going to become all distorted. So make sure that you have it in the just right here. Now, if it is coming through with just one headphone, so say somebody comes into your channel and you're saying something and they say that, then by all means, hit the convert to mono. You can change the name of the microphone. You don't really need to. You can add an audio delay. Say the audio from you talking is different from your webcam. Then that's when you can hit an audio delay in milliseconds. You can change the compressor. We're not gonna really dive too much into this, but just know that compressor, noise gate, and noise suppressor are all for suppressing noises in the background and kind of making sure that you don't clip or go too loud when you're streaming so there we go we're just going to hit save there so with that all being said all we have to do now is change the name of our game you change the name of the title to whatever you want it make it a little punny go live notification change the category so say you're going to play apex legends boom now there's going to be an audience, everyone or subscribers only. If you're brand new to streaming, you're not going to have this option to change it to subscribers only because you don't have the option for a subscriber. So then you can hit the tab. So you can have a challenge run if you have any challenge stuff in the game. There's just a bunch of tags that you can change. So like you see casual playthrough game development, you're just going to hit done after that. And from here, guys, all you have to do is hit the start stream button now the one thing i am going to suggest is we go up to the top left and hit settings so this is going to bring up your general your stream your recording your audio the hotkeys now the hotkeys is going to be kind of cool because you can change the hotkeys right here stream layout management you can set a hotkey and you can also set transitions now if you've watched twitch and you've seen really cool little transitions from one scene to another this is where it is now the really cool thing about twitch studio is they have a bunch of transitions that you can go through so there's one of them the animation of it you can have a melt kind of like a fade into it so once you get all that settled up once you change each of the screens as you see that's really really cool there we go that's all you have to do guys you hit the start stream button and you are good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this video did help you and you were brand new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button, the notification ding ding, so you don't miss any more videos like this. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.